1 Kings chapter 1. Now King David was old and stricken in years, and they covered him with clothes, but he got no heat. Wherefore his servants said to him, Let there be sought for my lord the king a young virgin, and let her stand before the king, and let her cherish him, and let her lie in your bosom, that my lord the king may get heat. So they sought for a fair damsel throughout all the coasts of Israel, and found Abishag, a Shumanite, and brought her to the king, and the damsel was very fair and cherished. The king and ministered to him, but the king knew her not. Then Abinadi, the son of Haggith, exalted him, saying, I will be king. And he prepared him chariots and horsemen and fifty men to run before him. And his father had not displeased him at any time in saying, Why have you done so? And he also was a very goodly man, and his mother before him, after Absalom. And he conferred with Joab, the son of Jerai, and with Abathar, the priest. And they, following Adonijah, helped him. But Zadok, the priest, and Benani, the son of Jehoiada, and Nathan, the prophet, and Shimei, and Rei, the mighty men which belonged to David, were not with Adonijah. And Adonijah slew sheep and oxen and fat cattle by the stone of Zoheleth, which is by Enrogel, and called all his brethren, the king's sons, and all the men of Judah, the king's servants, but Nathan the prophet, and Benahi, and the mighty man, and Solomon his brother, he called not. Wherefore Nathan spoke to Bathsheba, the mother of Solomon, saying, Have you not heard that Adonijah, the son of Haggith, does reign, and David our Lord knows it not? Now therefore come, let me, I pray you, give you counsel that you may save your own life and the life of your son Solomon. Go and get you in to King David and say to him, Did not you, my lord, O king, swear to your handmaid, saying, Assuredly, Solomon, your son, shall reign after me, and he shall sit upon my throne. Why then does Adonijah reign? Behold, while you yet talk, there with the king, I also will come in after you and confirm your words. And Bathsheba went in to the king into the chamber, and the king was very old. And Abishag, the Shumanite, ministered to the king. And Bathsheba bowed and did obeisance to the king. And the king said, What would you? And she said to him, My lord, you swore by the lord your god to your handmaid, saying, Assuredly, Solomon, your son, shall reign after me, and he shall sit upon my throne. And now, behold, Adonijah reigns. And now, my lord the king, you know it not. And he has slain oxen and fat cattle and sheep in abundance, and has called all the sons of the king and Abathar the priest and Joab the captain of the host. But Solomon, your servant, has he not called and you, my lord, O king, the eyes of all Israel are upon you, that you should tell them who shall sit on the throne of my lord the king after him. Otherwise it shall come to pass, when my lord the king shall sleep with his fathers, that I and my son Solomon shall be counted offenders. And lo, while she yet talked with the king, Nathan the prophet also came in, and they told the king, saying, Behold, Nathan the prophet and when he came in before the king, he bowed himself before the king with his face to the ground. And Nathan said, My lord, O king, have you said, Adonijah shall reign after me, and he shall sit upon my throne? For he has gone down this day, and has slain oxen and fat cattle and sheep in abundance, and has called all the king's sons and the captains of the host, and Abathar the priest, and behold, they eat and drink before him, and say, God saved King Adonijah, but me, even me, your servant, and Zadok the priest, and Benai, the son of Jehoiada, and your servant Solomon, has he not called? Is this thing done by my lord the king, and you have not shown it to your servant, who should sit on the throne of my lord the king after him? 
Then King David answered and said, Call me Bathsheba. And she came into the king's presence and stood before the king. And the king swore and said, As the Lord lives, that has redeemed my soul out of all distress, even as I swore to you by the Lord God of Israel, saying, Assuredly, Solomon, your son, shall reign after me, and he shall sit upon my throne in my stead. Even so will I certainly do this day. Then Bathsheba bowed with her face to the earth and did reverence to the king and said, Let my lord King David live forever. And King David said, Call me Zadok the priest and Nathan the prophet and Benai the son of Jehoiada. And they came before the king. The king also said to them, Take with you the servants of your lord and cause Solomon my son to ride upon my own mule and bring him down to Gihon and let Zadok the priest and Nathan the prophet anoint him there king over Israel and blow you with the trumpet and say, God save King Solomon. Then you shall come up after him, that he may come and sit upon my throne, for he shall be king in my stead. And I have anointed him to be ruler over Israel and over Judah. And Benai, the son of Jehoiada, answered the king and said, Amen. The Lord God of my lord the king say to you, as the Lord has been with my lord the king, even so be he with Solomon, and make his throne greater than the throne of my lord King David. So Zadok the priest, and Nathan the prophet, and Benai the son of Jehoiada, and the Cherethites and the Pelethites went down and caused Solomon to ride upon King David's mule, and brought him to Gihon. And Zadok the priest took a horn of oil out of the tabernacle, and anointed Solomon, and they blew the trumpet, and all the people said, God save King Solomon. And all the people came up after him, and the people piped with pipes, and rejoiced with great joy, so that the earth rent with the sound of them. And Adonijah and all the guests that were with him heard it as they made an end of eating. And when Joab heard the sound of the trumpet, he said, Why is this noise of the city being in an uproar. And while he yet spoke, behold, Jonathan, the son of Abathar, the priest, came, and Adonijah said to him, Come in, for you are a valiant man, and bring good tidings. And Jonathan answered and said to Adonijah, Verily, our lord King David has made Solomon king, and the king has sent with him Zadok the priest, and Nathan the prophet, and Benai the son of Jehoiada, and the Cherethites, and the Pelethites, and they have caused him to ride upon the king's mule. And Zadok the priest and Nathan the prophet have anointed him king in Gihon, and they have come up from there rejoicing, so that the city rang again. This is the noise that you have heard. And also Solomon sits on the throne of the kingdom, and moreover the king's servants came to bless our Lord King David, saying, God make the name of Solomon better than your name, and make his throne greater than your throne. And the king bowed himself upon the bed, and also thus said the king, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, which has given one to sit on my throne this day, my eyes even seeing it. And all the guests that were with Adonijah were afraid, and rose up, and went every man his way. And Adonijah feared because of Solomon, and arose and went and caught hold of the horns of the altar. And it was told Solomon, saying, Behold, Adonijah fears King Solomon, for lo, he has caught hold on the horns of the altar, saying, Let King Solomon swear to me today that he will not slay his servant with the sword. And Solomon said, If he will show himself a worthy man, there shall not a hair of him fall to the earth. But if wickedness shall be found in him, he shall die. So King Solomon sent, and they brought him down from the altar. And he came and bowed himself to King Solomon. And Solomon said to him, Go to your house.